Now let me show you how you can retrieve embeddings from GPT-2. We have our fine-tuned model. We can generate embeddings for any text we want. The input text can be a word, a phrase, or multiple sentences. Here we have the input text for which we want to create the embeddings. We use our tokenizer to convert the text into a format that the model understands. I assure that the tokens are in the same place, CPU or GPU, to avoid any errors. I tell PyTorch not to track or modify gradients during this process as it is a forward pass only. I'm passing the tokens for the input text through the model and asking the model to provide the hidden states. The hidden states will have our embeddings for the input text. I am extracting the hidden states from the outputs. In GPT-2, there are several embeddings in different layers. I am grabbing the hidden states from the last layer. The tensor obtained from the GPT-2 model's forward method is three-dimensional, with a shape of batch size, sequence length, and hidden state. We average this along the sequence length, which condenses the information into a single vector. That single vector is still inside another vector, giving an illusion of a 2D data structure. So we remove any unnecessary dimensions to get a clean one-dimensional embedding vector. So this variable mean underscore pulled underscore embedding holds the embedding for the input text we provided. Note that the embedding is for the input text you provided. This is not the embedding of the response text. If you want an embedding for the response text, you will get the response first, then send that response text as the input text and retrieve the embedding just like we have coded it here. Using this methodology to generate embeddings for your text, you can have reasonably good vectors for downstream applications. If you have a dataset that has text documents relevant to biomedical topics, you can train GPT-2 with your dataset. Later, you can create embeddings for any text relevant to your research. For example, if you have all the biological entities detected in the text, you can create an embedding vector for each biological entity. Then as a downstream application, you might want to discover clusters in the biological entities. You can apply any standard clustering algorithm on the vectors you have for all the biological entities. Different applications can use the embedding vectors differently. Now a relevant question is, how well do these GPT-2 embedding vectors compare to embedding vectors provided by BART, Roberta, or commercial OpenAI? Please let me know if you do any experiments on that.